I jump on the number one train on Canal Street, making my way up to 23rd Street, take my seat, it's kind of crowded and tight, and there's all those folks. You know the folks. We're all all those folks looking at each other, not looking at each other, still looking at each other, not looking at each other, thinking at each other, looking at all the different clothes, the paper people walk, and different hats, and who they represent in the culture. And when the door opens up, they look up, and somebody comes in, somebody goes out, comes in, goes out, but they're always looking down, looking down. They're looking down because they got these beats going on on their head. They got these beats like shit, fuck, no, really, what? Get the fuck out of here. How much? Oh my God, Jesus. Oy. Now everybody's got a melody because for 10,000 years everybody in your genetic code heard whatever shit they heard back then and it's in your genetic code and all the shit you're hearing today. You've got a melody to go along with the beats, shit. Fuck. No. Oh my God. All of a sudden, the door opens up and comes these three Mexican cats, all wearing maverick jeans, cowboy hats and boots, two guitars and an accordion. And all of a sudden, they start to play, and for me, it's showtime. But everybody else on the train looks at them, looks down, looks at them, looks down, looks down, realizing that it's so tight that it'd be impossible to go into your pocket and take out some change to give to these cats because these seats are made for little children. My stop in 23rd Street comes and all of a sudden I jump off, I give these guys a dollar and I say thank you cats. The next day I jump on the number one train again going up to 23rd Street, stop at the bodega, get a couple of double, double A batteries, I give him a 20, says I got no fives and tens, he gives me 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 singles and 50 cents. They're like old singles, it's like a hundred singles, it's very it's tough getting them into my pocket. And all of a sudden I jump on the train and there's all those folks again, looking down and looking at each other and all of a sudden it's showtime. Hi everybody! My name is Steve, and I'm a poet and a performer and live here in New York City. And I got these $17 that I want to give out to everybody in this train. Actually, there's more than 17 people here. I can see that. Maybe you can share it later if you know each other. But I just want to tell you that that's what I'm doing. And all of a sudden, I hear the guy in the back, who's this fucking weirdo? <laughs> What's this new element? So I take out these $17 and I go up to this woman. She won't look up at me, but her little daughter's going, Ma, he's got a dolly, he wants to give it to you. She's still looking up. Ma, he's got a dolly, he wants to give it to you. So I, she finally looks up and I give her the dollar. And I said to the daughter, would you like one too? She says, yeah, she takes it. I move on to the guy who's reading the post, looking down like I'm not there. He knows I'm right in front of him, but he, I'm not there. So I take this dollar and I let it float slowly onto the page of a picture of Elliot Spitzer, walks on to these two guys, hey man, is that real money? I said, yeah, I said, I'll take one. Hey, would you like it? Can I have two? I give this guy two. One guy says, I'll take it, man, because nobody ever gives me shit. So I turn around and I say, okay, folks, next time an artist or a homeless person gets on the train, you dig into your pocket and you give them a quarter and remember, you're still 75 cents ahead. <laughs>